In my lab, we're particularly interested in how viruses work. Uh, a virus is a parasite, and um, it uh, lives by using other live cells or live organisms to propagate itself. So there's a life cycle uh, through which a virus has to go. Um, it infects a cell, uh, it, thereby it has to enter the cell and has to take over the machine of the cell to replicate and resynthesize itself, reassemble, and then has to leave the host cell uh, and find a way uh, you know, by means of a vector, another animal, uh, another organism to go to the next cell or uh, thing it wants to infect. So my lab is interested in the mechanics of all this and if you're looking at mechanics you're looking at the individual components of the virus, the virus as a whole and how these work together. Well, um, a T4 is a virus which uses a uh, bacteria as a host, E. coli as a host. Um, it's what's called the tailed uh, virus. There, this is actually one of the most common type of uh, organisms in the oceans of the world. Um, and there are many different uh, tailed uh, bacterial viruses or phages as they're called. Um, and all of these phages, which are extremely common, uh, have such a motor for packaging uh, the DNA, the genome of the virus into the preformed head of the virus, preformed pre capsid of the virus, um, molecular motor. Uh, what we have learned about the motor for packaging DNA into T4 therefore extends uh, to just about every other bacterial virus, uh, but also probably into other viruses which use uh, hosts, uh, human hosts, uh, t tissue from humans. Uh, herpes virus is a well-known example uh, which would, which does have a packaging motor of this sort. Um, uh, but as I said, the, uh, it translates also into understanding how molecular motors in general work, um, uh, gives a good idea how, how they're put together and how the energy energy of the chemical energy uh, of the fuel, the biological fuel called ATP, uh, is transformed into some kind of motion. One question, there are usually many more questions to answer. So, for instance, in T4, which is a bacterial virus which we've been working with, uh, we might be able to adapt it for a variety of uh, medical purposes. Um, for instance, one of the great challenges uh, at the moment in hospitals is antibiotics. Because of the overuse of antibiotics, uh, the um, uh, microorganisms have found, or bacteria, have found uh, ways of resisting uh, currently available antibiotics. But bacteriophages like T4 are a completely alternative way of dealing with um, uh, killing uh, unwanted bacteria uh, because the, the, the um, T4, the, uh, the virus, uh, works by, uh, it uses uh, bacteria and can kill bacteria uh, in, in its process of reproduction. Uh, so um, the use of um, um, bacterial viruses as antibiotics has been a, a long looked for alternative uh, to overcome the problems which we have now with um, antibiotics such as we currently use in, in hospitals and in medical practice. That's one.